Driving an HGV is a man-sized job, but it requires brain as well as brawn to handle a vehicle with a payload of anything up to 21 tons on the country's highways. No, we're not talking about this sort of brain. We mean the kind with the power to concentrate on the job of driving and to keep concentrating, often for long periods. Concentration is the key to skill driving. Out of it comes the ability to read the road ahead, to understand its various meanings, and to determine appropriate action well in advance, what is called observation and planning. In this series of films, we'll try to explain what is meant by observation and planning, and how a driver should practice these points whenever he takes to the road. Coming up to a dual carriageway, and closing on two slow-moving trucks. Check the mirrors and indicate before moving out to overtake. There's a car on the outside lane, lots of room though. Checking the near side mirror, so I'm clear of the trucks, moving across to the near side lane. Unfortunately, concentration is not an automatic function of the mind. It needs to be cultivated. And in order to do this, the driver must first learn to overcome those things which interfere with concentration. For instance, tedium, when traveling a fast, straight road. Or on a slow, congested one. A driver must learn to overcome fatigue, especially when he's not in the pink of condition. And he must combat all kinds of other distractions, even those which any normal man would find it hard to resist. There's something else, too, which must be avoided at all costs. Call it that morning after the night before feeling. Did we say that a good night's rest is essential for concentration? It is, of course, because a tired or inattentive driver is a dangerous one. Modern vehicles are designed to give the driver as many aids to maintenance and good all-round visibility as possible. It's wrong, therefore, for him not to help his concentration by taking full advantage of these aids. For instance, no one can hope to observe and plan properly if he's not sitting correctly. So a driver should ensure that his seat is correctly adjusted. The correct position is the one giving maximum comfort and control. Next, visibility. At present, this is obscured by stickers, a badly placed jacket, and worst of all, a dirty windscreen. All restrict the field of vision and make driving dangerous. Visibility is also impaired by objects placed on the dash, even fat ones like log sheets, because they cause reflections. Some drivers have never learned the truth of this and how necessary it is to get rid of all obstructions before driving. Where to begin is the problem. Well, how about the windscreen? There's muck for you. Hardly good enough. The whole area needs to be clean for clear, all-round visibility. Just this once, we can count on the magic of the movies for assistance. 
and let's hope that your screen washer bottle is topped up. Stickers, we all know what to do with those things. Now the jacket and radio. You can't possibly see clearly or comfortably with those things in the way. How about the mirrors? Near side's okay, but the off side is badly angled. That's how it should be, showing one third vehicle and two thirds rear view. No need to lean over now that the mirror as well as the seat is properly adjusted. If you happen to be a driver who needs spectacles, then for heaven's sake wear them. No, not those with thick frames. Use your driving ones which give clear all-round vision. That's more like it. And now, since our man's sitting comfortably and able to see clearly, he's in a fit state to concentrate and so to observe and plan his driving. <laughs>